Hello, everyone. This is Maurice, and I'm with Jeannie Picazzo, who is going to speak at the I Astrologer Online Conference, I believe on April 23rd. So most of you already know, we've been advertising quite extensively. I Astrologer is our OPA conference about all the tools <clears throat> that can help you enhance or launch your astrology practice. So whether you're just about to get started or whether you're already a practicing astrologer, but you need to get it to the next level, this conference will give you all the tools that you need. And here we have a testimonial from Giulio Pellegrini, who participated in our event in 2018 and shared how it was a game changer for him. So wonderful presenters um, um, from branding to just guidelines about managing a practice and growing it, how to find clients, you, what software to use. And it, we're not just talking about astrology software, but any kind of helpful software that can help astrologers. And that's where Jeannie comes in. Um, but before we get there, I just want to go through the general themes. We have a whole workshop on writing for astrologers. So it's different to write fiction and it's different to write astrology, especially how much of the jargon to use, uh, how to make your astrology accessible, how to convey your knowledge in a way that that people can really use and, and is impactful. So a rich, rich program, and you're invited, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Jeannie is our presenter about Excel spreadsheet for Microsoft. So first of all, I want to clarify two things. Um, Excel can be used for both PC and Mac users, right? Yes. And the big question is, you know, will, will learning Excel help me analyze charts more effectively? <laughs> That's always the good question. And how does it help? Um, how will Excel help me as an astrologer moving forward? Um, Excel is a productivity tool. So Excel might not be able to help you read your chart better, but certainly you can use Excel as um, a client management a tool where you can put your clients in, you can put uh, memos in about the clients, you can search the clients uh, data afterwards. You, this is a really uh, important tool. Any spreadsheet is an excellent tool for an astrologer. You can use it for budget making, for bookkeeping, um, for event organization. I mean, we use it for, uh, for this iAstrologer. We have a massive spreadsheet that we use to, to manage all of our entrants of people that are signing up and what they're signing up for. So, so it is... Um... It's a mm -hmm. management tool that is, you know, it's, it's very extensive. I mean, I think most people are familiar with Excel. They have yeah. maybe used it once or twice or they use it more extensively. But the reason we call Jeannie is that, you know, until, until Jeannie demonstrated what she could do with Excel, you know, we had no idea how far this <laughs> software can go. And it can get super elaborate, sometimes confusing, but it is a magic tool, really. And that's why, yeah. you know, we invited you to speak because there's there's a lot that can be done with it. It's, it's that's right. I I know that, that uh, uh, Apple provides 
Pages, but Pages is not as powerful as Excel is, and and it's not as easy to use as Excel. And the reason that I called the course um, Excel for Right Brain Thinkers, what we need to do is learn how to think in um, in in Excel terms when we're looking for something. Why would I? Um, how would I search for something? How do I bring it forward? What I want to add this up, what are the words that I use to, to search that out? So we're going to be learning about that. We're going to be learning basics. We're going to be learning how to um, create a, a spreadsheet that's meaningful for me to capture data. For example, client management. How would I set that up? How would I even think in my brain to set those things up? So we have to take ourselves out of our right brain and think a little bit left brain and, and that connection. That's what I'm going to be offering. So, you know, if you have something to show or demonstrate, then it'd be a good time. But when sure. you say client management, I just want to clarify uh, what you mean would be, for example, you know, we see clients, and how to keep track of those clients, you know, who is a return client, who is a new client, and then what happened during the session, things like that, right? For sure, whether they paid, I mean, you might even want to keep track of dates, uh, you know, a, a specific date. I know that your, your astrology software keeps that um, as well, but it would be really very good within Excel to put the date down if you have anything that that crashes, now you have it. Great, so once again, this is on April 23rd, part of the yep. online online offering of iAstrologer. iAstrologer extends over two months from April 1st to June 5th. And every yep. weekend, there's a series of talks on different themes. So around that time is helpful, on the 23rd is helpful software, which includes payment software by Ann Ortley, then Excel with Ginny, yeah. and then Gemini Brett will speak about PowerPoint presentations that day. So Ginny, uh, if you want to share your screen, I'm going to get out sure. of here. We've got a, a few spreadsheets, sample spreadsheets up here. So one of them, I wanted to show how you can, in this spreadsheet, you can create a budget for yourself. Just a quick, it's just a quick and dirty, easy spreadsheet to say, this is my budget. This is my income. How, what do I need to do? If I'm planning on um, extending my business, I want less of non-astrology, more of astrology. What You can use this as a tool. The increase of 25% was here. That's all this is, is taking what I had times 25%. So it calculates so, it for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you blank this and redo it so we can see Excel at work basically? Sure. I sure. mean, that, that, that particular 25%. This, how okay, did you do sure. It? You have the original amount times 25%, then you add it to the original amount again. It's easy. It, it, to me, it's simple. But when I talk to other people, they say, oh, my God, well, how'd you get there? And this is what we're going to be talking about. How do you do your formulas? How it, this one was just by cost of living. So if cost of living is 2.5%, um, right? I want to do the same thing. I want to increase the full amount by 2.5% so I can multiply it either multiply this amount times 1.025, and that gives me the full amount, or I can do what I did with the other one, okay. times 2.5%. Well, it is, you know, it, 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 it's not, it doesn't look simple to a beginner. I know. So, it, it, I'm, so I'm this hope is, you'll go step by step very it, that is the that is the whole process. How do you think this through? What is what are the basic math skills that you need in this? And how do you think your whole brain through this? And that's what you need to do. When we um, 
I will be talking about that definitely. But in this, this two hour or 100 minutes that I have during our workshop, our initial workshop, I'm just going to be doing an introductory into Excel. And then possibly we can, I, I'm going to be explaining what these ribbon, um, all of these things are, what do you want to do? <laughs> how can you use them? And, and simplifying it so you can find very quickly something that you want to use. Um, with formulas as well, how do I do a formula? Which ones do I want to use? And That's so what we're going formula? to be talking about. Like, a formula is, this is a formula right here. So we so did. It's basically formula. telling Excel to do something for you. Exactly. I use, um, there's a formula I, that says, I want to find something specific about, um, I'm looking something up. So that's a formula as well. So it's a lookup. I'm looking to another uh, spreadsheet to look something up. These for are example, just, like tell, for example, yeah, for sure. Uh, when you build um, a client management uh, kind of mini database, you can have, you just have one of these master datas, you know, you just put in the person's name, their email address is the key, you put in all the information, and now you can pull that in on by using a key to search it or to find something. I want to know how many people I have only done natal charts for. So now you do a search on that, right? And this is this, these are just powerful, powerful little tools. This is an advanced formula, of course, but this is just to tell you that from here, I don't have to search in there. I've got an email address, brings back my first name. Mm -hmm. And now I can do whatever I want in this, in this spreadsheet. I can have notes on my client. I can have the date that we met, um, you know, how much I charge. Maybe I gave them a discount, um, what, what their, uh, their feedback was. I can have it all in here, but from the, the main, from the main spreadsheet, I can have just the, the data for them, the date, you know, just their email address and their name. That's all I need, right? Um, and then you can you can build something a little bit more complex and you can bring it in. So the more you become comfortable with Excel, the more you start to do with it and the more, the more things you find that you can do other than just doing uh, um, an addition or a subtraction. I, I worked with somebody that would build an Excel spreadsheet and then used her calculator to add things up because she didn't trust Excel. <laughs> I, thought that, I thought that that was very funny. But um, yeah, so yeah, that was what I wanted to talk about. That would be advanced. But mm -hmm. this is another use of Excel. So when you speak about advanced, one of the thoughts is that once you go through the iAstrologer program mm -hmm. and you go through this uh, almost two hour session with Jeannie and you find that this is really helpful for you. Uh, we plan on offering more dedicated workshops that are specific. So those who attended High Astrologer will be able to uh, sign up for a more dedicated workshop for that sure. would be, you know, beginners, six hours, you know, two or three sessions, and then more advanced two, three hours to really um, go deeper with it. So, mm -hmm. um, you, you know, we won't be able to master Excel in a hundred minutes, but mm -hmm. at least it's going to give you a really solid foundation, a really good understanding of, why it's helpful for you and, and what you would you like want. to use it for yeah but one of the things that i use excel for as well is 
I'm a member of a couple of different organizations that have talks and they send me recording links. So, I mean, I can keep all the emails, but trying to find that recording or find that email is very difficult for me. So I set up a uh, spreadsheet that I call important links. And one of the tabs on the spreadsheet has all the various different links from whoever I have, um, you know, gotten a recording link for. And you can set it up any way you want. You've got detail of the talk. So you can quickly, you can search by that, the link, the speaker, the name of the talk. But this is where the filter comes in really handy. I am looking for a specific speaker. So I can do the drop down and I can either these, this is, uh, automatically goes in alphabetical order. I can either do it by scrolling down and finding, or I can type in Maurice's name and his talk comes up right away. All I need to do is, is click on that link and it opens into the talk. You have filters. How do I set up a filter for anything? How do I check and on what's filters? what's a filter basically? Filter, it's called a filter. All it is, is you get, um, you're saying that you want to filter this column. So you set up, if you highlight the, the, um, your header row and you go to the data tab and you click on this filter like a funnel, it allows you to select a specific item in that filter. Mm -hmm. You can either select by the name or the word here. I can, um, I mean, I can select, let's say, by AFAN. I can do that. So if there was a whole bunch of AFAN talks, all I, I would just see the AFAN talks sorted through. Um, it's a great, great little tool. Okay. Right. It kind of narrows down whatever your, sure. your list is about. Exactly. So these are, um, there are so many different uh, tools that you can use within that are very simple. Um, you know, one of the things that um, I wanted to show you here as well, on this summary, it, this was expenses, I kind of made up something, I've got different tabs for expenses. So what I have done is I've created links. So under the under, let's say I want to look at, at home utilities, house utilities, where in what tab have I got house utilities? I've already linked that to the right tab. It opens it up. This is where all my house utilities are. And I have a link going back to my summary page. And the easy, I mean, that is such an easy thing to do because all you have to do, you highlight the cell that you want to link, you go up to insert, you go up to link here, and I want to link in this document. So I go to the spreadsheet that I want to link, I click on it and I say, okay. So now this one is linked, it goes there and I go back. So I can have a spreadsheet with many different things, but now I can organize myself instead of saying, where is it? I can automatically go to the spreadsheet that has it. So these are just helpful little tools, as I said, but it can make you very powerful. Okay. Have you ever thought of a career in programming? I am a programmer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am, a, that is, I'm a systems analyst and a programmer by trade. Beautiful, looking forward. Thank you so much. All right. I'll stop sharing and thank you. And we look forward to an exciting conference. Join exactly. us. Join us, make it work. Uh, it's going to be, you know, it's one of our most elaborate, extensive conference. And I agree. I, I, the, uh, the number of people, um, that are taking part with their various different skill sets. I, what I liked about what has been put together is that there is such a broad knowledge in all the astrologers that are out there. And bringing that together, we can all be more powerful astrologers using the tools at hand. I, I just think that it's wonderful. See you in Tucson. 
Thank you so much. See you online and or in Tucson. For sure.